Hello everyone, it's Blake, Words to be back again for time number three today, uh, here on a nice, uh, partly cloudy, uh, partly cloudy, <laughs> partly cloudy, mostly sunny, partly sunny, I don't know, I'm not a weather man, but I can pretend to be one. So, I am back, uh, with an update on the Charles Lloyd records, um, so if you remember, an three or four, maybe five months ago, uh, I came across this collection of Charles Lloyd records. Now, uh, exquisite stuff, I mean, mid-60s, uh, mono releases in exquisite condition. I mean, as you can see, these laminated covers are just dynamite. Uh, the records themselves are, you know, of course they are in mint, the, the, the the bags are, the sleeves are still creamy colored and not, you know, browned or anything. And the records are just fantastic. However, many of the records uh, that were in this collection, this stash, um, were warped. And um, being the industrious fellow that I am, I tried to figure out how, how could we uh, flatten these things. And of course, uh, you know, I picked up one of the vinyl flats and they work fantastic. So uh, what I did is I got back in touch with the, the seller um, who goes by Press Ball on, on eBay. And um, Anna Hid is her, is, is her name. Um, and I said, hey, um, you know, let's try, to get, let's try to get these records into some homes that, that, that would love them. And... Uh, I explained the warping situation with her, and she understood. Uh, and we, you know, we did our our test with the vinyl flat, and they work great. I mean, you can ask David Sequoia Flame; he got his flattened uh, by me, as well as uh, a few others of you. Um, and they and they turned out fantastic. So, what uh, what Anna did, what Press Ball did, um, at my suggestion was, I said, hey, look. Why don't you send me a stack of them, and I'll flatten them, and then we'll we'll make them available to to the rest of the the people in the vinyl community and whoever's paying attention. And she thought it was a great idea. I thought it was a great idea because I I want these in your hands. So um, what we have is if you go to eBay, search for Press Ball, or you can search for. Charles Lloyd lot or you know something like that and what you'll see you'll you'll find you'll find a couple of listings from on ahead from press ball where there are um, you can get five different Charles Lloyd records um, that were already opened uh, for 45 bucks shipped 45 bucks shipped to you um, and then there was another listing I think four different Charles Lloyd's that are still sealed. I think she's asking 50 for those shipped. Um, but then, you know, chances are they go, they're going to have some warping issues. But um, one of our very own, Jan uh, from the Netherlands, uh, had ordered some of those from her. She shipped them to me. I flat opened them up, flattened them, and shipped them to Jan in the Netherlands and got another convert into. Uh, the great spiritual jazz Charles Lloyd train, um, which, by the way, he did do some more searching and he he dug up some uh, Faroukzy Bay material in the Netherlands. Uh, very excited to to see that. So way to go, Jan. Um, but anyway, um, what I have here is I don't have the, any sealed ones, but but what I do have is I've got five sets of the open ones ready to go, and. I'll show them to you. You get Char Love In, Charles Lloyd Quartet, um, which, by the way, I think I think all of these has, uh, let's see, I'll, I'll tell you who's on each one. So, um, we've got Charles Lloyd, uh, Keith Jarrett, Ron McClure, and uh, Jack DeJanet. Uh, you hear Jack tearing it up behind me here uh, on this album. One of my favorites, uh, Forest Flower, beautiful gatefold, and I won't open this too much because these gatefolds have never been opened. So you get to experience that crack 
the gatefold crack. You know what I'm talking about. So, um, again, Charles Lloyd, Keith Jarrett, a very young Keith Jarrett, Cecil McBee on bass, and Jack DeJanet on drums. I've got that playing right now. Um, Journey Within. Check that out. Uh, so here we've got um, Jack, Charles, Ron McClure, and Keith, Keith Jarrett. Um, then I think this was the first Charles Lloyd. Now, pay attention to, to the condition. I mean, these things are spitting mint. Uh, to, to use Dwayne's, <laughs> I love watching Dwayne's videos because he talks about Jim Mint. This is mint. And this is mint. Uh, I love you, Dwayne. Uh, and I miss you, too. So uh, get back on the thing. Charles Lloyd, Keith Jarrett, uh, let's see, Cecil McBee again, and Jack DeJanet. I think this was Charles' first Atlantic release. And all these are on mono. And then Charles Lloyd in Europe, um, another live recording. Um, yeah performance there and who do we have I think uh, the lineup is Charles Keith Cecil and Jack DeJanet so pretty much the same lineup um, throughout all five of them so what's the deal here's what you do contact press ball either through eBay you can buy them through eBay or just message her or do whatever you want to do uh, you can look for lot Charles Lloyd um, Actually, maybe I can put a link here in the description to there. We'll see if I can do that. Anyway, buy them from her. You send her the money. Oh, and by the way, the money she's donating to the Louis Armstrong House in New York. So, we're helping everybody. I mean, everybody's helping everybody, which is the way this world should be. Uh, so, what she'll do is she'll say, Okay, Blake, I've got this address. Ship them to he or she and that's what we'll do I'll just box them up and ship them and she's gonna pay me to ship them um, uh, so again I think this these five are only 45 bucks shipped to you so that's less than nine dollars a piece and these things are great um, I I'm gonna pretty much guarantee you because I've handled them all I flattened them all uh, I had to pull two aside because there was some there was some scratching that I didn't I didn't want to push along but we're gonna take care of that but I've got five sets in my hands now and depending on how well this go we'll keep doing it until we run out which I don't think she has that many more but but we'll see so one last time press ball look for Charles Lloyd lot and uh, the open ones are 45 the sealed ones are 50 for four there's one of the titles in there you don't get uh, but then there's another one that you do get the Soviet one uh, it, you, you'll see and then uh, I'll ship them from here flattened now if you don't want them flattened if you want to get them warped the way you know you just want them to go straight from her that's fine too she can ship them to you from her place uh, but I'll go. I'll already have them flattened for you if you want to get them uh, already flattened. So there you go. And uh, again, one last time, press ball on eBay, or you can look for a lot Charles Lloyd, and you'll see these things. And get these in your hands. I mean, these these are exquisite. Um, I'll have them packaged nicely, uh, sleeved. Uh, I'll, give you some of the new inner sleeves I'll take care of that um, but but these things are beauties beauties I, I can't express how how really nice these are uh, ask ask some of the others ask, ask David Sequoia flame uh, what is, what he thinks about them and uh, I'm sure he'll agree this these things are really really nice so that's it for now um, maybe one more video maybe not uh, probably overextended my stay here today with you, but it's good to be back. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.